I didn't think it had to happen. I didn't think it had to happen. I didn't think I'd have to make another video, but no, some fucking goddamn idiot wants to take my job, and now I have to get ready to show how it's actually done in this business. The man, the myth, the legends himself, Blackbeard. A lot of people think that Blackbeard is extremely complicated to play, but let me tell you right here and now, Blackbeard is by far one of the more simpler operators to play. His sole job in a team comp is to get kills. I know, it sounds strange in a first-person shooter where, you know, you would be expecting to get kills, but that's all Blackbeard's really good for. That and peeking windows. Yeah, actually, Blackbeard's the god of peeking windows, so let me just... Let's just uh, go back real quick. Blackbeard's jobs include getting kills and holding windows. In fact, Blackbeard's tool set in order to get kills is by far probably one of the best in the game. He comes with... A deceptively good assault rifle, one of the highest damaging DMRs in the game. In fact, it's only outclassed by Gladys' OTS, but even then, that's a sniper rifle. The Deagle, which is the highest damaging pistol in the game, but it may only be outclassed by revolvers. And he also comes with breach charges to open up different angles and break down on the reinforced walls. And flashbangs, because you don't need to see when you're dying. Moving away from his weapons, Blackbeard has two pieces of saran wrap. <laughs> I'm sorry. Cardboard. <laughs> I'm sorry. Blackbeard has two pieces of ballistic shields, if you want to call them that. They aim to stop headshots, however, they actually block a little bit of your shoulders and a little bit of your upper torso as well. So, sure, blocking headshots is great, but they do have a large hitbox, so you don't have to aim specifically for his head. Meanwhile, his chest and legs are still exposed, so that's what you want to be aiming for if you're on the defending team. Both of these shields have 65 HP, and they the downsides are that, one, you go from a 2-armor two 2-speed two to a 2-armor two 1-speed. You also have increased recoil for your AR, and you have significantly increased recoil for your DMR. Those are really the only drawbacks, and besides the fact that, you know, you have a shield in front of your face, there isn't really too many things that can be said about it. I mean, if you see right here, your main purpose is to hold windows. Blackbeard used to be a god of holding windows with an 800 HP shield, but, you know, that was nerfed into oblivion because... Why would it not be nerfed into oblivion? If you hold your angle, if you hold your angles correctly, Blackbeard is nigh unstoppable because one, he has an angle on you; two, you can't hit his head even if it is exposed; and three, you're probably going to die to his high-caliber assault rifle DMR and or Deagle. Yeah, so just take into account all those, and you'll be fine. I guarantee it. Trust me, you will be perfect, hundred percent. Yes. But AVG, what if, what if there's nobody by my windows? What if there's no windows by the objective? How am I supposed to get kills and do my jobs? Hold up. You don't have to just sit by windows. Blackbeard once again has a deceptively good assault rifle that is good for extreme close quarters combat. Puts into the objective, and so long as you keep a medium distance with an ACOG, or go in close quarters with a holographic sight, you are going to win most of your gunfights. It's a general about three, maybe four shot kill. But other than that, once again, you have a ballistic shield on top of your gun. It saves you from headshots more often than you think. But other than that, as I said, just push into the objective, get as many kills as you can. Hell, kill the entire team if you can. But really, that's your only real job. In fact, you can tell how good you're pushing the objective by how well you're holding your angles. With Blackbeard, you want to be holding your angles at a position where the least amount of your lower body is exposed. In fact, if you can, try to not expose any of your lower body at all. This is a general good rule of thumb for every operator, but with Blackbeard, it's a little more prevalent. Because you can actually stick out your head a little bit more than you can with the others and bait people into shooting at you. When you get into a firefight, your movement is a little bit reduced because, you know, your brain is trying to multitask. But other than that, just spray away a little bit and you'll probably get a headshot depending on how high you're aiming. With Windows, it's a little bit different, however. You want to 
poke open the smallest portion you can and then peep your head around the middle, if not slightly orientated towards the bottom of the broken piece of the wooden barricade. With this, you'll almost guarantee you'll be shot in your shield and people will not hit your body at random points. The angle I'm holding right now is a bad example of this, but if you move down just a wee bit to where your gun can still see in the room, you'll be in top shape. Here's an example of me pushing the objective as a blackbeard. When I reach the bottom of the landing of the stairs right here, I'm going to try and expose the least amount of my upper torso as I can. In fact, only my head will be exposed and I'll be leaning to make the most out of the angle. What's going to be happening is when I start moving, I crouch and I start moving a little bit slowly to try and take in what's happening in front of me. That way I can properly react to people as your ADS time is slightly slower than all the other guns due to the shield being on. Once that's compensated for and you get a kill or there's no one there, continue on your way to the objective. When you come across a spot that you think somebody's going to be watching, make sure that the angle is as small as possible, that way you will be exposing the least amount of yourself. When you think it's clear, look around and check your corners. Once that's clear, continue on with your day to the objective. Now there's going to be something a little special about what's about to happen here. I'm going to rush the objective in a couple seconds, because, you know, why not? When I get into the objective, I once again go back to the foundation of protecting my upper torso and only exposing my head. For people with a higher rate of fires like Smoke's SMG, the FMG9, the Scorpion, it's not really going to matter if you have the shield in front of you because once they tear through that shield, your head is going to be almost immediately after. But for people with slower fire rates or even medium ones, it does give you enough time to react and properly get a headshot or something. Hey, you're trying to walk away with a kill at most and a heavily injured operator at the least. So whatever works, will work. On the opposite side of the spectrum, however, I'm going to also show you how to not push as Blackbeard. Once again, as I probably stated before, and I should have stated before, if not, I'm sorry, you really want to crouch when you're moving through a building with Blackbeard. This is to, once again, not expose his torso, which is his biggest liability. If you are shot through your shield because it breaks too fast, hey, high rate of fire weapon. However, being stupid and rushing while standing up is probably the dumbest thing a Blackbeard player can ever do. So, here it is. Enjoy. Okay. Being done now. Welcome back. I is playing we Siege. You abandoned us with George because George left at like the exact same time. No. I'm still grinding out these fucking things. Are you kidding me? So, that's really it when it comes to our boy Blackbeard. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you learned something in how to properly operate with this character. If you did, leave a like and I will see you in whatever I do next. Take care and bye-bye.